Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look at what is Resolver, why it is used, where it is used, and how you will change the depreciated Resolver function to the latest supported version in Angular 16 and above. So we will check all of these things with Angular 17 version. So without delay, come let's get started. All right, so first, what is Resolver? A resolver is a service that prefetches the data before a route is activated. It is used to ensure that the necessary data for a component is loaded before the component is displayed to the user. All right, here's a small demo. So in this demo, you know, I am intentionally providing a two seconds delay for an API. So when I do a login and then click on this profile edit, see it takes two seconds and then the data loads. But until that time, it did not go to this route and there was no error. So let me tell you what will happen if you don't have a resolver. Okay, so now I have commented about the resolver. So let's see what happens, right? So I log in, I try to go here and it immediately went here, but you also saw a lot of errors coming up. See, there are a lot of errors coming up and the moment error comes, even data comes, nothing works, right? So it will not be good in order for us to show the component with the proper thing. You need to have the resolver okay so that is what the problem will solve so if you're using angular 16 and below like uh, 15 and below the resolvers are implemented by a service so you define a class that is injectable which becomes a service and that implements a resolve resolve interface now it's depreciated so if i hover on it it is depreciated though it is still working it is depreciated means down the line, right? Maybe uh, Angular 18 and above, they'll completely remove this. So if you don't change this depreciated version to the uh, the right version, the project will end up having problems when you upgrade the Angular version. So that's what we are trying to see how to do it. So this is the old way of implementing, which is nothing but it implements the resolve. And then you will have all your services injected in the constructor and then it just returns and then it returns an absorb of any basically absorb of true or false okay so how do we change this resolve which is depreciated to the acceptable one very simple all what you have to do is you need to write a, a function so basically the function is of type resolve function okay and the return type is here profile object Okay, so in our, your case, based on what is getting returned from the service, that is what uh, you have to put it in the resolve here. Okay, if this resolve is returning a particular data object, you put that model here. It could be anything. Now, it accepts two things, a route and a state. Route is activated route snapshot and then state is router state snapshot. Okay, all what we are doing is, we will have a service okay which is internally calling the apis in our case this is just a profile service it is simulated to be an api so it is basically returning the data after two seconds intensely just to simulate as if the api is returning after two seconds we can even put one seconds okay now all what we have to do is we have to say inject that service and then once you have the inject of that service that becomes an instance of the service and then it is as usual you try to access the member of the service you get that we have profile as the function inside the service so we are able to use that and using the route which is the activated route snapshot we will fetch the id from the route right edit slash some number is coming right so that number we pass that as input and then we get the response once you get the response, this will return that response. Now, how do you use this one into the route? The resolver can be combined with either the parent level route or the child level route. So basically, whichever component is trying to load, if you want to pass the data, like pre-fetch the data, that's where the resolver is used. So in this case, if you see under the children, we have something called edit profile, right? So when you click on edit, it's going to edit profile component edit profile component is what it needs the data so what we are doing is we are assigning the resolver here so we say resolve and then pass variable and then pass the function profile info is the variable this is the function that we wrote here 
okay now this will have the data so how do we fetch the data if you go inside this component right and then we will use the activated route as the dependency injection and we will take the data from a data property so activated route dot data dot subscribe means when the component comes here the data that is passed to this place so when you come to this component the data is passed in the data object and then we subscribe to it and whatever data here comes that is nothing but the profile info which is here so this is returning profile info so the data that you get here is also a profile info if you return a true it you will get a true i mean if you return a boolean you will get a boolean here whatever you return is what you get it here once you have the data i will be able to show the data here let's do one more time i log in there's a one second delay i click after delay after one second delay it was waiting for one second until that time it did not go here let's do one more time so i log out all right let's do one more time so let's click this and then click on the c until one second it did not change once the data is ready it changed and the data is fetched and showed here and you didn't see any error here because it did not even go to the component where the data is not loaded yet so that's it guys so this is very easy this resolver concept is very important we will be applying this resolver concept in our smart card hub e-commerce application shortly so this is just a pre-video anyone who wants to use the resolver in 16 and above version you have to use it this way so the code is available in the github repository i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel share this with your friends and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section and until then signing off karthik thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding